Hey guys, it's Rainy Knight. Today I'm going to show you how to farm the Royal Guards Kyrus. This is a Shatter's White Bag that drops off of every single minion before the first boss fight, which is the Bridge Sentinel. Uh, you can also get it from the tablets near the third boss and probably a few other places, but the main thing here is the minions before boss number one. So why do you want the Royal Guards, Curious? Well, you want it because uh, it's basically the best in slot Moonlight Village item um, if you know how to use it. So basically, it's like it's a 1.6 second Oreo anytime your character's shooting. So during Moonlight Village, you can like specifically tank through stuff and you can activate it whenever you want. Or you can just keep auto fire on and just passively gain some invulnerability. But um, yeah, 10 vit, 20 death, uh, 60 max HP and 8% XP bonus makes this a very good item. So let's go see how to get it now. So you're gonna wanna bring a character that can clear by itself. So that would be wizard, sorcerer, that's about it. I probably wouldn't bother with anything else. Uh, you're going to need a Shatter's Key, but ideally you would be doing this off of avatars. This is more of a hobby to do because avatars are not that um, commonly done. Like if you enter just a random realm on a random server, there's a very good chance an avatar will just be sitting there doing nothing. So this is, I would not recommend buying keys for this. I'm just doing that for convenience sake. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the vault because we do not want to have other people coming for this. Now it doesn't affect the white, you know, the white bag chance, but I just feel better knowing that I did 100% of the damage on every single minion. So, And also, you'll be alone when you do it on the avatars. So, yeah, also, I'm going to show you just that you can refine the key by control clicking it to upgrade it, see if we get anything interesting. Nope, not really. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and hop into our uh, dungeon here. So, the Shatters is a very dangerous place. I am actually not, not super happy to be bringing my nearly 35k fame sorcery in here, but I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. So I'll mention there's like, I believe there's three different map layouts that you can get once you enter the dungeon. I'm not like a Shatter's expert or anything, but I'm sure most people can be like, oh, yep, I can tell exactly what map this is just off of the spawn location on my mini map. But I'm not that professional. I'm just going to wing it personally. But I think there's like village, castle, and farm or something like that. Um, they're all they play the same as each other. It's just different layouts for different things. So our objective right now is literally to kill every single red dot we've seen. That includes stone enemies as well. I know stone enemies are seemingly infinite. Um, I don't know if they're actually infinite anymore, but you do want to kill the stone enemies. That includes the stone spawner monolith as well. You want to kill literally everything pre-first boss. Um, what we have to watch out for is the stone gargoyle. I may as well just start while I talk. So what we want to watch out for is, first of all, the stone gargoyles. These guys will rush you and uh, jump on you and paralyze you, which is not good. Uh, the second thing we want to look out for is going to be respawning enemies. So if I ever kill an enemy and there's like a purple portal on it, that means it's going to respawn in like 60 seconds or something like that. Uh, so if I go back to that location, it will... Uh, respawn. I can't tell you if the purple minion, like the respawn version, has a chance of getting the white because I've never had that happen, but I probably would kill it anyway just to be safe. That thing right there, so that little purple portal with the gravestone, that means it's going to spawn back. Here's a stone minion, like I said. Um, but that, So if I stood here and I afk here and I walked away, I would be dead when I came back. So keep that in mind. The third thing we have to look out for is the idol, which is signified by people saying idle in chat. Uh, you, you Well, you press I. So if you are doing this with someone else, they'll say I in chat. But basically, he is this big invulnerable boy that is just terrifying and uh, is like a cracked version of the Calamity Crab. Uh, so basically, what we're going to do is just run backwards. If we, if we encounter him too early, probably a better idea to Nexus, but it's unlikely to encounter him too early. I believe they've balanced it so that you're not going to get like cucked immediately. So when we do find him, we're just going to walk back to safe territory and really, that's all the explaining I have to say. There's a thing that spawns additional minions. Looks like they're not infinite, though. It's just kind of sitting there until it dies, right? But the old shatters, it was infinite. So that thing's going to respawn again right there. So yeah, it doesn't look like this thing's infinite. But that that monolith right there, I know for a fact, can drop uh, the Kyrus. So make sure you're killing just everything. Every single pathetic little minion, no matter how pathetic you think it is, just, just go ahead and kill it. <clears throat> I did not put on a clover, I just realized. I was considering doing that because 
it would have been cool to actually get the white in the dungeon itself. But I only had one key, so we, we can't restart recording now. But yeah, you could bring a clover if you're like really down bad. Um, but kind of a waste of a clover, to be honest. But you could if you want. So this thing right here, uh, this will not drop the white. I don't know. I'm 99% sure this doesn't drop the white. But you can kill it for some fame. It also doesn't fight back, so you may as well kill it. You can see there's free, free XP there. What that means is, this is not really important, but I'm just going to kill them anyway. But just like a fun fact, uh, once these things are all dead on the map, a few of them will turn into teleporters. So you can walk into them and teleport directly to the bridge. But that's not relevant. I just wanted to mention it because I have not made a Shatter's Guide on this channel yet. I would like to at some point. I'm not going to promise to, um, but I would like to at some point. I just don't have... I could do Shatter's. I just, you know... <laughs> I got a lot of backlash for the Moonlight Village one, and I've actually done a ton of Moonlight Village. I just hadn't done a ton of fishing in that video. The fishing in that video is obviously atrocious, but, I mean, I gave that disclaimer. But, uh, yeah, Shatters, uh, I'd probably make myself look like more of a fool, but I can do it. I have done the new version of Shatters quite a bit. Um, it's a little bit cracked, but definitely more than doable. It is harder than Moonlight as well, for the record. Um, well, unless you're doing, like, hard mode true me, then obviously that's harder, but... Yeah, so at this point, we are just going to kill all the minions and hopefully we get something. I don't really have a ton to say anymore until we come across a gargoyle. Uh, but as you may or may not know, on this channel, we do not do editing. I think editing is yucky because it takes a lot of effort. Well, not a lot, but it takes any amount of effort. And that is more effort than I want to do for YouTube because YouTube does not pay me, obviously. These are just for fun, free videos. So you can skip ahead if you want or you can just click off the video now. Otherwise, you can just sit here and chill and uh, watch me kill some minions for fun. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I don't lose one of my favorite characters right now. Uh, the only way I would really die is if a guard, like a, either the idol um, makes me go into an area I don't want to and I just refuse the nexus or the gargoyle surprises me and I just don't react fast enough. But we'll see. We'll see. So, yeah, basically going to be a little bit more quiet now. And we're just going to kill these minions. Is there is there a soundtrack in here? I'll go ahead and turn the soundtrack on if there is one. Let's see if there is. Actually, I hate going in the options menu right now, but oh well.
So just, I didn't find the idol, which is honestly very strange, but uh, just treat the idol like a Calamity Crab. Let's say it spawned right here on top of this bridge right now, and then I would simply speed in the opposite direction, and I would keep going down and down and down until I... Um, until it loses aggro, and then you can go a different... Oh, there it is, right there. <laughs> oh, look at that boy. <laughs> All right, so I'm actually glad I found him. That gave me a little jump scare, but I'm glad I found him because I did want to show what he looks like. So the idols, yeah, he's just an invulnerable calamity crab, so just stay away from him. Uh, and this is the actual boss itself. We were not lucky enough to get a white today, of course. But uh, if you did want to solo the bridge sentinel, you would start right where I'm standing for the record. You would go like that. But uh, yeah, no, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here before I get pogo jumped. So thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.